It is 7.30 in the morning. Ellie wakes up at 6.30 every morning. And um, I'm guessing you're wondering why I'm doing a gym vlog if I'm sitting on my couch. Well, it's Monday, which normally means that I go to the gym, but I'll tell you why. Monday, last Monday, a week from, uh, a week ago today, um, I went to the gym and, uh, you know, recorded kind of my progress and what I was planning on doing for the month of May. Surprised myself, did good. Tuesday, I woke up sick. So... Friday, I went to the doctor, and I have yet another upper respiratory infection. Um, this is like the, I don't know, fourth or fifth one in six months or something like that. Um, and unfortunately, I wasn't able to catch it before she caught it. Like, get on medicine before she caught it. So, Friday, she started getting sick, and um, it sucks. So all weekend we've both been kind of, I'm on antibiotics, a steroid, a nasal spray, allergy medicine for mine. But for her, um, she's two and a half, there's not really a whole lot we can do for her age group for congestion and stuff. Yeah, so uh, this is gym vlog number two, and I'm not at the gym. Uh, I'm still, I'm one, she's not at daycare. Uh, her schedule is changed up now to Wednesdays and Thursdays. I will not be going to the gym two days in a row. I know myself, and I know that is how I will get burnt out on going to the gym, and I don't want to do that. I love going to the gym right at the moment, and I want to keep it that way. So, uh, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do, but we went to a yard sale the other day, uh, on Saturday, and... We got ourselves some free weights, uh, adjustable free weights, so I can have 10 pounds on one of these. We need to get some more so that I can do 10 pounds on both, but 10 pounds on one of these is perfect for most of my exercises, and then I have some 5 pound weights that I can use too, so I guess I'm going to start doing some um, indoor, like, at home workouts again, which I really didn't want to, it's the whole point of having a gym membership. But you gotta do what you gotta do to keep your body going and uh, not get burnt out uh, by not doing something. Uh, also, uh, I guess it's not really a gym vlog topic. Um, we found out that she has a slight intolerance to wheat and eggs. Uh, they did an al a blood allergy test on her uh, a, a few weeks ago. Actually, it'll be a month this week. Excuse me. Um, and I have gotten a few, like, oh my gosh, a few uh, gluten free type ingredients or something. Gluten is wheat. If she can't eat wheat, she can't have gluten. I mean, that's just how it is. Um, and and the, the nurse, whenever she told me about the results, she did tell me that it was just take it with a grain of salt at this point. With Ellie's age, her these allergies or intolerances could be gone by next month um, because of how the body works and grows and develops and whatever. We are a gluten family. We love our bread and we love anything fattening, which is not great, but it's who we are. It's what we like, and that's I don't care what anybody else thinks about our eating habits. Um, but I do care about trying to cut some of it out of her life. And regardless of how long this intolerance or allergy is going to last, I think it would be in her best interest to not really have that. And I'm not bringing up the eggs so much because, I mean, she doesn't need eggs anyway. And um, eggs run in her dad's dad's side of the family, her granddad's side of the family. Uh, as well as my mom is actually allergic to eggs as well. So that was really no surprise. Um, but, yeah, so uh, I'm, I'm going to try to do some, uh, maybe some cooking with uh, gluten-free products. The taste tester, which is going to be the one eating this stuff, Ellie, um, 
either. I don't know if I'm gonna necessarily have her help me bake because she really does enjoy that. Uh, but I'll have her come in. If I don't have her help me, I'll have her come in afterwards and taste it. And you know how kids are. If it doesn't taste good, it doesn't taste good. They, they're not gonna eat it. So she will be a very uh, honest taste tester for me. Um, and I mean, these are for her. We might eat a few of them just so that she's not alone. But I would like to come up with a few recipes that are easy to do for breakfast mainly because that's where she gets most of her wheat products at. Um, like she eats packaged donuts and packaged muffins and pa uh, pre-packaged baked muffins. So um, along with the allergies, we also found out that her protein levels were kind of low. Um, which is not a surprise considering she was super sick for like three days before that. And her thyroid levels were off, which is concerning because I have thyroid issues, my mother has thyroid issues, my grandmother has thyroid issues, uh, I just had a biopsy done on mine, um, everything came back fine though, thank goodness they took forever to get me back to all the results. So we just did a redraw on her blood tests. Thursday. Yeah, Thursday. So hopefully within the next few days we will get results back on that. They did five vials this time, so I'm not entirely sure what they were looking for and what we're going to find. Um, I know they went a little bit more in depth with the thyroid panel uh, and probably checking her white blood cell count and stuff like that just to make sure everything's good there. We'll see, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, maybe be on the lookout for some uh, gluten-free cooking videos, I guess, maybe. Yeah, so maybe be on the lookout for some gluten-free, um, and I'll try to keep it egg-free as well, because it's kind of a hard combination, but I think I can probably manage to find some recipes that I think I can do that aren't going to be too hard or too hippy. I'm not into the whole flaxseed, coconut milk screw that stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. If if that's how you live, good for you. If that's not how I live, um, it's certainly not how I cook, especially for my family, uh, when I cook, which I don't cook often. Oh, but anyway, um, I thought about doing those videos just to kind of uh, maybe help out some other people that are facing the same kind of challenge. You know, you don't eat that way, you've never eaten that way, and then all of a sudden, boom, you're being forced to eat that way. For us, it, it could go away by tomorrow, and she may not even really have an intolerance or allergy to either one. Um, but a lot of people don't get that lucky. Um, you know, usually whenever you find out that you're allergic to something, it's there to stay. Oh, her picture day is tomorrow. So she goes to get her first um, school pictures from daycare tomorrow. And I'm super excited for that. So maybe I will uh, try to show a little bit of our wheat. I've got a lot more to say uh, about our plans and stuff. But um, I don't want to give it all away right now. So maybe we will start doing some more vlogs and I guess I won't call these gym vlogs uh, unless I'm actually going to the gym. So this will just be normal vlog number two. Maybe that's what I'll call it. I don't know. or I don't know what I'm going to call it. But regardless, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, you, know, uh, you know the YouTube thing. Like if you like. Subscribe if you want to see more. I'm really trying to come up with things to do for the channel I uh, just kind of have to go with it um, so anyway uh, again thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one bye